Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today I have another mailbag. This question comes from Daniel. He says, yo, I am currently following along with your set up GitFlow and run Terraform in an Azure DevOps pipeline YouTube video. And I'm just curious about the use of the Terraform with backend.sh method as opposed to using a Terraform DevOps extension. Are there any benefits or pros and cons with your approach? I do find it is cleaner and easier to work with using your method. Just wondered if you would use the Terraform DevOps extension as well. That's a great question. First, I'd like to start off with a full disclosure. My approach here may be influenced by my background. Before I joined Microsoft, I used to be a consultant, which meant I went from customer to customer and often customers would dictate what DevOps pipeline tool that we were going to use. This meant that when we used automation on projects, we were continuously kind of re rejiggering how to get Terraform up and running to automate all the things. And so basically, you know, after running into a couple of different customers that had different tools and different approaches, um, I found that just dropping into good old fashioned bash was the most portable way of reusing the same assets from customer to customer uh, because there was absolutely no pipeline native yuck that I was using. And I don't mean that in a, a pejorative way. I mean, it just in terms of like the plumbing that you're tapping into a pipeline tool is a pipeline tool is a pipeline tool. It can, I'm pretty sure they can all run bash, right? So at the very least, no matter what pipeline tool my customers, you know, ended up requesting that I use um, or mandating, dictating that I used, I was pretty safe that my bash scripts that executed Terraform with a certain input parameter framework were going to work. Um, and so that's what I went with. Um, I'm definitely well aware of the tasks that are, I think there are a third party. There's a whole bunch of different tasks written by some third party developers originally before they became, there became like a first party, you know, kind of task um, to do the job. Um, and uh, I have used those in the past. I've used them both in the GUI using, um, you know, release pipelines and kind of classic Azure DevOps pipelines way back in the day. Um, and I've used them in YAML pipelines. Um, and, and actually I used them for quite a long time until I got into a situation where there was a bug, you know, with the task and it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, and so literally I just had to get the project done. So I ripped out the, the task and I did it in old, good old fashioned bash and it worked. And ever since then, um, the combination of those two experiences, one, you know, I'm going to have to rewrite it anyway, cause it's a, it's something that's only available on Azure DevOps. And two, I don't know what this thing's going to do. Um, I, if I can't rely on that um, and I and it's out of my control for something as absolutely basic as just executing Terraform, I don't see I don't see the value um, in, in encapsulating that into some black box that I don't have control over. So with a bash script, I have 100 percent control over it. I can go in there and change stuff around to my heart's content. Um, and that, that, that makes me feel better about, about that decision. So while I know there may be some creature comforts that these tasks provide, I think Terraform outputs, um, is one of those that makes it super easy to output, um, output values from Terraform, like in bulk. Um, that really hasn't impacted me as much because I try and really, you know, constrain the blast area of my Terraform modules and really only output exactly what I need and use, use a scalpel when I'm crafting what the outputs are going to be. So I really haven't gotten to a situation where I'm outputting a whole bunch of things and some of these creature comforts that the tasks provide, um, really add a tremendous amount of value, uh, to what I'm trying to accomplish. So for me, the portability of using bash outweighs the, outweighs maybe the creature comfort of having an abstraction to, to execute the Terraform. But isn't that like the case with everything? I mean, every technical or architectural decision is going to be made by balancing trade-offs. And so my, my situation might not fit your situation. You might go a different way. You might weigh those trade-offs and feel like, you know what, 
I worry about like leveraging a bash script and then people going monkeying around with the bash script and changing it around and breaking things because people don't know bash or like it becomes the bash script ends up becoming this dumping ground and like transforming and mutating into some nasty thing. Um, you know, then by all means, you know, use the task, go with the, go with the Terraform Azure DevOps tasks. Um, it's just, in my opinion, like I found it much easier to leverage Bash. That's that's me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know. Do you prefer Azure DevOps uh, Terraform tasks, or do you like my approach, um, which is just dropping into good old fashioned Bash? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you do prefer the Terraform tasks, let me know why. I, I'd really, I'm very curious. Like, what killer feature do these tasks provide? Um, that, that makes it that much better over the bash approach. I'm, I'm genuinely interested. Let me know in the comments below. That's it for me. This is the Azure Terraformer signing off.